Next up, we have Chris Garrett. How are you? I'm good. Especially good to see you. <laughs> <laughs> it's great to see you. How's well? First of all, ChrisG.com and Copy Blogger now. Exactly. Just recently, so it's a brand new thing for me. How long has it been? Uh, a month. Uh, it a feels month? like I'm still the new kid. So. Wow. <laughs> first of all, everybody's wondering online where are you from? That uh, accent. I'm. Originally from Canada, raised in England, back in Canada, so I've got a very so strange mix. accent. Good day, mate. Put another shrimp I on the barbie. I wasn't going to do it. <laughs> uh, when I'm uh, st standing next to Darren Rouse, people always think I'm Australian. Or right. they, they try to do a Dick Van Dyke accent thinking, you know, <laughs> Brian Clark from Copyblogger calls me Ringo. He thinks I sound like a Beatle, so. Nice. That's funny. So, um, first of all, what, what were you doing before Copyblogger? And then we'll get into Copyblogger. Well, I've always kind of been with Copyblogger since he started. And I've, uh, you know, I've yeah. helped out guest, guest posting, helped out a lot. I've always so kind of been kind associated. Of, yeah. Uh, I was kind of the, uh, the non-related cousin, if you like. But um, ChrisG.com is where I do all, all my blo blogging for myself. I yeah. do consulting. And... I co-authored a book with Darren Rouse, the pro-blogger book. So uh -huh. I've, I've done a, a lot of things, but Copyblogger's uh, probably the best-known site that I work for now. <laughs> and so for people who don't know Copyblogger, which is probably no one out there, but for like the maybe two people, uh, explain what it is and kind of where your focus is. Yeah, Copyblogger is mostly about content marketing now, uh, about growing your, an audience of people who want to buy things from you. Yeah. Uh, when he started out uh, as just Brian, um, it was a little bit heretical to say that, you know, making money from blogs was evil. And Whoa. <laughs> yeah, so it, it kind of stood out from the start. Uh, yeah, but, uh, when, when I was just getting started on this, it, there were it, the whole audience was mixed. Like there were people who were for trying to make it a go and trying to move it forward, and then there were people who were very idealistic. This none of this online stuff should be a business yeah. model, but they've kind of been blown out of the water. <laughs> I, I think so. It's kind of cyclical because uh, back at the start of the internet, it was the internet's for people in lab coats, you know, yeah. and the, no commerce. And then the spammers arrived, and it was like you shouldn't make money. But I think everybody realizes there's a space for everybody. You yeah. can do things for non-profit, you can Absolutely. do things for profit, and just for fun. And the space for everybody. It's a big internet. Yeah. And so, so talk about some of, like, where are you focused right I'm, now? I'm focused exactly. on helping people uh, build their businesses with the internet. And so, so with the consulting and everything. Yes. So what are some of the things that you, that you do to help people grow? So I, I coach people on growing an audience of people who know, like, and trust them. That's the... So building authority is the, probably the main thrust that, that I do. And not just driving traffic, but actually getting an audience of people who want to be there, who mm -hmm. want to hear from you. And it overlaps with all the copy blogger stuff and Seth Godin yeah. and all that kind. I, I wrote the book with Darren partly because I, I had a specialty in making money because you blog, not from the blog. Yeah. Whereas Darren has the, the big AdSense checks and the advertising money. Uh, it never worked for me that I didn't really make any money from AdSense. So it's building a business is my focus. And, and so let's talk a little bit about building that authority. You know, one of the things that a lot of people, well, if, if they're not doing it as a hobby, they, or maybe even so, they want to build authority so that they can build the audience, so that they can make it further and bigger and bigger. How do you do that? Let's, let's give the audience some tips. Well, I think the biggest mistake people make is that driving traffic thing. Think, you're not a cattle rustler. You, you can't what? drive. What? <laughs> I've been doing it wrong. <laughs> well, I live in Calgary, so there's a lot of cattle. <laughs> but um, you can't drive traffic. You have to attract traffic. And you can only really, unless you're paying money for advertising, you can't really get in people's way. You have to attract people to you. So I guess you could think of it like people's personalities. Just in general, some people attract people to them other people try very hard to attract but yeah, it's absolutely. it's it's more of a driving yeah. traffic it's like pay attention to me pay attention to me yeah i think um the more you try to persuade people yeah. the more uh, people we've got built-in bs detectors so the more you try right. to pick yourself up and say i'm an expert and you should listen to me the the more repelled people will be but if you actually find things that people want to need and what they're interested in and what's keeping them up at night then that will attract people to you and if you're helpful I mean, it's like geek beat tv you're helpful uh, you've got you've got a personality that people are, are warm to and you've got a brand but 
unless you're giving people value, they wouldn't stick around. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, they'd, they'd be your raving fans and nobody else. Sure. So you, you give people entertainment and something valuable, and they learn something, and they don't feel, oh, that's half an hour of my life I'm never getting back. Right. It, <laughs> God, I, I hope <laughs> nobody ever walks away from that. But people fixate on traffic, and it's, yeah. it's the experience, I think, that's the big... So you have to attract people, and then you have to retain that in, uh, interest. So attraction, retention, then conversion. And what people make the mistake with is they, they want traffic and sales. Mm -hmm. And it's like, um, if the first thing you do is try to pitch people, then it's a, it's a, a turn off. But I think there's a fine line between, you, you said don't tell everybody you're an expert, but there's this whole phenomenon of everybody being like, I'm a social media expert, I'm, I'm this expert, yeah. I'm that expert. Uh, and part of that F is in an effort to present themselves because everybody is so new at all of this. And so they've tried to step themselves up, which I am not opposed to by any means. But, you know, where's that line? I think expertise is something other people have to say about you. So you have to wait for one person, maybe uh, yeah. that guy over there just walking? <laughs> yeah, well, if you do a really good job of helping one person, and they, they're going to tell another two people, uh, bad news travels. So when can you call yourself an expert? Five people? I, I never call myself an expert. <laughs> um, you can call yourself a specialist. You, know? uh, okay. you, can, um, you can call yourself lots of things, but I wouldn't say I'm an expert just because that can put people off. But you, know, you can call yourself lots of different things, um, but I think expertise is something other people have to say about you. And those referrals are a lot better than you saying, I'm awesome, hear me roar, and you know, I'm, I'm the best thing ever, uh, even though I am. You know. Well, of course you are. <laughs> well, second best. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> very, very cool. Well, I think you know, that, those are some really good tips, and I think some people will, will find that useful. Um, I want people to be able to get more information from you. You have a panel. Are you... Are you speaking on the panel uh, here? Derek Alpen and I are doing site critiques on Thursday. Okay. So if you want your website critique, oh, nice. we'll be doing that live. Very cool. We're doing it live, which is scary. And <laughs> online, they can maybe tweet you? Uh, at Chris Garrett, to rz -E -T -T, uh, chrisg.com, and obviously copyblogger.com, which is probably the thing I'm supposed to talk about. Well, yeah, yeah. We <laughs> Copy Blogger is one of the best sites out there. You should definitely go and check it out. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. And uh, I'm getting the wrap.